Motorhome Diaries 8 by the Motorhome. Okay, so you're looking at buying a motorhome. Just to make sure whether a motorhome is the right thing for you, or if it's going to be a caravan, generally as a rule of thumb, if you're going to be doing your holidays and stopping on a campsite for a week or two weeks, then you're best buying a caravan. If you're looking at buying a motorhome and your holidays are going to be two days at one place, three days at another, one day here, two days here, always moving around, then a motorhome is for you. So buying a motorhome, there's two really important things when it comes to buying a motorhome. One is your budget and secondly is layouts. Layouts is probably one of the most important things to consider when buying a motorhome. So what we're going to do is have a look at all the different types of layouts that are available to you. So now that you've decided your budget, you've got to find out which camper van or motorhome is going to be good for you. Now first of all, First off, we have the camper vans. Now these are great for dual purpose where you can use it for going to work um, and then off camper, camper vanning. And also they're great for getting down little winding roads, for going wild camping, um, for just general everyday use. So if there is just two of you, then these are an ideal camper van to have. So what you pretty much get with the camper vans is probably about 70% are pretty much the same type of layout. And what you normally tend to get, so we have the dinette and sleeping area at the front, which will then pull out. And these will make a bed up as well. And also, you'll have the dinette at the front with the kitchen at the back. So you'll have the hobs, grill, sink, and then to the right hand side, you will get a small compact shower. What you normally tend to find with these vans, whether they're Trigano or to sleep or all the other makes, is you will probably get three seat belts as well. Another option if you're after a small camper van um, and there's just two of you or just one of you and you do want to sell your car, um, so another camper van you can use for going to and from work and for everyday use are these ones. Now this is an auto sleeper but you'll also find New Venture and also Roma Home make these style of motor homes. So this is ideal for using for everyday and then if we make our way round to the back what you get in there are two good bench seats and then you will have a hob and a grill with a three-way fridge. And then opposite that, you will get a sink with um, cold water. Some of the vans do do hot and cold, as well as blown air heating. This particular van does have blown air heating as well. But a great little camper van. Um, you've also got the porta potty below. But a great little camper van, especially if you, if, you, if you like your fishing or just pottering around, staying one night at one place and then moving on. Now another good layout with camper vans, as well if you're spending a lot of time travelling in them, is at the fixed bed option. So what you've got with this van, is you'll have the dinette at the front, and then at the back, you have got the fixed bed. But what you, what you can do as well, is you can lift this up, turn it over, and then you've got a, a bench seat area as well. Um, we do have a three-way fridge, gas burner hobs, and then we also have a sink as well with hot and cold water, and a good wash area. So now we're going to move up to motorhomes. And the first layout we're going to have a look at is, it's really popular with caravanners who've had a caravan and moving over to motorhomes. And what they tend to go for, for the first motorhome, is a U-shaped lounge. Um, this one's a 2002, so let's go and have a look inside. So what we've got inside on the U-shaped lounge, um, obviously your U-shape here, where you've got good views all the way around. And then we can pull this out here to actually make a double bed. We've then got all the standard hob, grill, oven, three-way fridge, gas and electric fire, 
and then we have a small combined shower and washroom area. This actually, this van is actually classed as a four berth because it does have over kept sleeping if you want to. But really, yeah, I'd class this as a two berth. Sticking with U-shaped lounges, the food, the one we saw earlier was on a short wheelbase. This is now on a longer wheelbase, so you're going to get more space. So let's have a look inside this one. Now with it being a much longer van, you've still got your U-shaped lounge and again, which will pull out to make your double bed. We're then getting more prep area, especially on the kitchen. The hobs are opposite with the hobs grill oven. It does have a hot plate on as well. We have a gas and electric fire, also more space above that. And then on this side again, we're getting good prep area with our three-way fridge. This does have over cab sleeping as well. But what we're getting inside this van as well, especially in the washroom, we're getting a separate shower. And then also you have your wash basin and toilet. So still the same layout as the one before, just a longer van with, with more room. Right, so still sticking with the uh, two berths, stroke four berths, we have got another type of layout now where the bench seats are at the front, they're not at the back like the U-shaped lounge. So let's have a look at this one. Now, like I said, what you're getting is the bench seats are at the front. And what you can do is you can make them up into a large double bed. We do have over cab sleeping, but the problem is it only has two seat belts. There isn't four belted seats in here. So that's why I do class them as a two berth, basically. And then if you have a look at the back, we do have the gas and electric fire with the blown air. And then if we do move to the back, what we then have is we have the kitchen at the back by the habitation door. And same again, you've got your hobs, grill, oven, your, your sink there. And then on this one, with it being a longer wheelbase, you do get the separate shower with the toilet and wash basin. Another option with your bench seats at the front, um, let me just show you actually. Now this one has more of a caravan type of feel to it. You have got the bench seats at the front behind the passenger and driver. Again, these pull out to make a big, a large um, double bed, like so, and the cushions just go down. But in the middle of the van, what I really do like here is you've got a nice kitchen area. And then this can extend out as well. And then we've got a nice sink and drainer. And again, hobs, grill, oven. But the difference with this van is the shower and the toilet are at the back. We'll just have a look and see what you think. And at the back, we have a separate shower and toilet. Now a smaller van, which is more of a compact van um, with a fixed bed, what you're gonna get in this type of motorhome is a dinette at the front, which will have two swivel seats. And then moving to the back, we have a fixed bed And then separate shower, toilet. With a compact kitchen. Hobbs, grill, oven and a three-way fridge. Moving up from the compact fixed bed, we've got the much larger van. If we have a look inside this one, bit more like a caravan layout we have the fixed bed and then towards the back
We have the washroom. With a separate shower. And then coming more forward, we have the kitchen area in the middle. And then the dinette with a driver and passenger swivel seats as well. Which this area here can also be made up to a, a bed as well. So six booth motorhomes. This is the type of layout you're going to get. So you can have the seats at the back, which can be made up into a double. And then what we get then is we have the bed above the cab. And then we have the dinette area. And as you can see, we have two, four, six belted seats. And this one can also be made up into a bed where the table drops down and they pull up, pull out to make a larger double bed. And then what we're getting is microwave, three-way fridge, and then hobs, grill, and oven with a gas and electric fire. Now, another option for six berth, um, and what a lot of the newer vans are doing, let me show you inside. Is we're getting the U-shaped lounge at the back. And again, which will pull out to make a double bed. And then here on the kitchen area with the same hobs, grill, oven, sink. A microwave. And then opposite that we have the fridge, freezer. But then we also have a dinette area here. And then we get a drop down bed, which are either going to be electric or manual. And then opposite the sink, we're getting the combined shower washroom. Now here we have another six berth. So let's have a look inside. And what you're getting at the back is the U-shaped lounge, which will be made up into the bed. Which then follows through to the separate washroom the separate shower and toilet and then opposite that you've got hobs grill oven with your three-way fridge microwave and then at the front we have the dinette area with four belted seat belts and again, this can be made up into a double bed. And then above that, we have the electric bed. Another six berth, um, which is a really good family van layout. We'll start with the garage. We've got a good garage area here under the fixed bed. And then moving inside the motorhome. We have the fixed bed at the back with the washroom. Separate shower. And then good sized kitchen area with hob and grill. Three being a hobs. Oven and grill, sorry. And then fridge. And then moving to the front. We have the dinette area, again, which can be made into a, into a bed. And then we have the over cab bed as well. So a good family six berth motorhome. Now we're getting into the one of the biggest uh, motorhomes you can get, really, um, is the tag axle motorhome. And you're getting a lot more space in these. So you get the bench seats at the back, again, which will make into a double bed.
And then in the middle, we've got a big prep area with a Hobbs grill oven. And then opposite, we have a separate shower, toilet and basin. And then moving to the front of the motorhome, we have a dinette area again, which will be made into a, a large double bed. Giving you plenty of room all throughout. Now, so if your plans are doing a lot of continental touring, spending a lot of time on the road, um, going away for a month or two at a time, then the motorhome really for you is the A-Class, a purpose all-in-one built motorhome. And what you tend to get then is good sized gas lockers for putting the bigger gas bottles in. And, and great garages at the back. And great garages at the back with outside showers as well. Great for storing cycles. So let's have a look inside the A-Class. So we've got a kitchen area, compact kitchen area with hob grill and then towards the back at the back we then have the transverse bed separate shower and then opposite the shower we have the toilet Full size fridge freezer with an Avtec tally. And then what we get in, what we get then is a good lounge area. And then we have the big drop down bed, which will go all the way down when we drop the, the driver and passenger seats. So a good van, the A-Class for spending a lot of time in. Now here we have another A-Class, so more of a compact one with a different type of layout. Let's have a look. And the difference we have on this one is of the kitchen area towards the back and also with a separate shower and washroom next to it. And then we have what we have then at the front is a large lounge area and again with the drop down bed again the drop down bed will go down here just that the seats need to be moved forward but again another example of an a-class motorhome so one of the most important things as well as obviously your budget is your layouts and i hope by having a look at all the different layouts we've shown you it's giving you an idea of what type of layout that you want